Hey Bill, here's a progress report on your um, B50. I might even make this public just for the heck of it. It's a nice, it's a beautiful bike, all original. That's original paint. Um, let's see. I pulled the primary off, made top dead center marks, backed it up 35 degrees, checked to see if the pointer and the marks on the alternator rotor are uh, coexist, are, are, are correct and found out that yes, the timing marks are correct. So we can trust th them now, okay? I can trust them now. Uh, I pulled the carburetor off and because the, the slide was sticking, and frankly, here's the slide stuck up at the top. So the sticking of the slide was not caused by the body of the carburetor. The carburetor is beautiful. And uh, th that's not the reason it was sticking. Uh, and by the way, I'm fascinated by this bowl drill bowl drain that you made um, that's nice so uh, I will um, figure out why this slide is sticking up here now and then um, solve that problem I'm not sure why so I'll work on that uh, it's just an adorable little bike you've done a beautiful job um, all this uh, metal work you did and the wiring you did and the battery box you made and the key mount you made or and the exhaust system that you made um, are just beautiful I know this you haven't buffed this out that's okay this is still rough but by god it looks beautiful this muffler that you made spark arrester and this beautiful luggage rack that you made and I'm doing that for people watching this and putting in the lithium battery and uh the way you put together the electrics under the seat rather than in that big old, big old box that used to reside up here. And oh yeah, very nice little oil cooler too. And a horn, that's a real horn. Um, you've done beautiful work. And uh, I, Kevin and I will continue working on the bike tomorrow and um, see if we can't get it started for you. I know it was a runner. And uh, we'll check the uh, timing and the carburation and see if we can't make it a runner again. Um, and see what uh, what changed between the time you first started working on it and now. Could be anything, probably nothing major. Uh, you made all this stuff too in here. My goodness, that's gorgeous. So, uh, beautiful skid plate. That's got to be quarter inch thick. You don't wolf around when you make stuff, do you? Even this uh, Zener hanger is nice. So, uh, you're doing a beautiful job on it, and uh, Kevin and I will probably get it running tomorrow. I'll follow up then. Uh, back in my field engineering days, we uh, used to say that you don't really have problems. What you have is opportunities for excellence. Uh, there was a, just a small opportunity for excellence in the running of the cable in the uh, carburetor. The carburetor slide sticking problem is solved. I'll show you. There is a um, plastic cable holder in here. You can actually see it in there if you look real close. And the cable itself had to go through that spring holder on its way to the slide. So, and it was run around the periphery of the um, spring holder plastic thingamabob jobby do. So I just took it all apart and ran the cable through the spring holder down to its little catcher in the slide. And now the slide flies free, shall we say. It's lovely, no stickiness at all. So now I'm gonna stick it back on the bike and then call it a day. And Kevin and I will try to do a, fir a, a, a first start tomorrow. So that's where we are. A uh, very small uh, opportunity for excellence here and um, the carb is nice and slidey. These are nice carbs. I really like these. Yeah, they're, they're nice carbs. Okay, that's it. Anyway, this, the, the throttle sticking problem is solved and the primary case is closed up and we'll be ready to do a first start tomorrow.